Welcome to another presentation from the CV Academics Foundation, home of the AMP Honors Program. Hey guys, so I thought it would be fun to kind of do a little visual representation of how much sugar is in a can of soda. All right, so first up, we're going to start with 7-Up. So 7-Up has 38 grams of added sugar. Still going, there we go. 38 grams of sugar. Getting quite the pile there. All right, so then Dr. Pepper is up next with 39 grams of added sugar. So just one more. And then Pepsi's up next with 41 grams of added sugar. So just two more grams than the Dr. Pepper. There we go. And then up next, I have cranberry juice. So I grabbed that just to kind of show you guys that it's not just soda that contains all this sugar and empty calories. It's some juices have it too. So a lot of juice is sugar just because it's fruit. But you have to look at the added sugar as well because that's your empty calories. There's no nutritional value there. Um, so this cranberry juice, as you can see, has 44 grams of added sugar. That's more than these three sodas. And then our leader over here, Mountain Dew, comes in at the top with 46 grams of added sugar. And there you go, 46 grams of sugar in one can of soda. All right, so now if we wanted to look and see how many calories does this huge pile of sugar add to our drinks. So it has 30 calories per serving and one serving is only eight grams. So going off that, if we look at seven up with 38 grams of added sugar, we divide it by eight grams per serving and then times it by 30 calories per serving. That gives us 142.5 calories from sugar. Um, Dr. Pepper, same thing. 39 grams of added sugar um, comes to 146.25 calories. Pepsi with 41 grams of added sugar gives us 153.75 calories from sugar. The cranberry juice has 44 grams of added sugar. So out of the 200 calories in this juice, 165 of it is empty calories just from the added sugar. And finally, the Mountain Dew with 46 grams of added sugar, we get 172.5 calories just from added sugar. And this added sugar provides no nutritional value so they're just empty calories adding on to your total daily ca caloric intake if someone is drinking multiple drinks um, you probably don't think you're adding more calories to your total intake but in reality it can be pretty easy to over consume when it's just in the liquid form all right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. This has been a presentation of the CV Academics Foundation, home of the AMP Honors Program.